I'm going to call out uh, His Lordship Dick Buckley, who wishes to talk to all of you. And I want to call out Nelson Case. Nelson, you come out, child. Hey. Hello? His Lordship Dick Buckley. Let's have a hand. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall enjoy a movement in the spontaneous realm of Yuma using a very difficult art called Mars Pantimimi Sism, the art a voice projection through people which has its key point in the high uh, inner circle of the circle, hello, <laughs> of the circle of the very heart of acoustics. Are you there? We shall use these four charming people to demonstrate. And first of all, Her Royal Highness, Lady D. Thousand pleasures. And uh, you, sir, will be kind enough to take the very first chair. Thousand pleasures. Case, old boy, put it in there. Yeah. And you, you good-looking monster. Oh. Right <laughs> Sunny side. <laughs> Gentlemen, to the lovely lady and the three gentlemen seated upon the chairs, to these four charming people, I will project four different and distinct voices. Each and every one of them will be given an individual voice to pantomime. They themselves will not say word one, but when they hear the voice, a lot to them coming to the microphone, they will move their lips, eyebrows, nose, Face your contours and what not in a pantomimic manner thereby simulating actual speech. Now this handsome rascal here will have the voice of Andy. That's a very deep voice, sir. When you hear that come to the microphone, the result, oh, will be this. Uh, well, it looked like everything going to be fine and dandy. Solid, Jack, you're right on the track. Number two, lad here, Lord Case, now the voice of Brother Croft, official type. Well, my dear boy, I dare say we'll figure the matter out one way or the other. McNeil, you spun the wheel, our Highness the Queen, will have the voice of Madame Queen, a very high type. Ah, oh, tell you, boss, all the time, so I'll be in the <laughs> Magnificent Lady D, his Lordship here will have the voice of Amos, Rossby type, and it hits. Well, Jack, you've got to stay on the track, you're going to be Solid, now we're going to play Little Theatre. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Jealousy of America, the first television broadcast, famous Nandy. My yes, the summertime, the beautiful, warm, golden summertime of Southern California. They're seated in a lovely Spanish garden in the fabulous San Fernando Valley. And it's sundown in San Fernando. And the moon, he gads that beautiful Southern California moonlight, shining right down in their eyes. They're very relaxed. They're looking up into the moonlight. And Andrew is talking. Uh, you know, you can hear a lot of things, Crawfish. But when I hear that old Alley Can done put down 250,000 tomatoes for a boat for a reader, it's a lot of money for a check to float around. You're not going to have much right now. Well, I'm going to say this, and Rita deserves everything she's getting. She's a solid little Brooklyn chick, and she deserves everything she's getting. Maybe you ride on the beam with that job, I swear to you. <laughs> And there ain't nothing I like better than a hip chick. I'm hip, you hip too, daddy. I'm hip, you hip, I'm hip, baby. Hip, hip. <laughs> Must be nice to say to your husband, daddy, go and get me a bucket full of pearls and have me about three o'clock. Baby, you right, you got something there, so you really have. <laughs> yeah, woman's got to be dreaming, talk to an old man like that. I'm hip, daddy. I'm hip, you're hip. Hip, hip. All right. <laughs> By the way, Crawfish, what's on your mind now, my lad? Well, uh, how you been a-feeling since you've been on the wagon? Well, to tell you the truth, my boy, I've been feeling much better. Much to my surprise, much better indeed. Ah, uh, is it true, Mr. Crawfish, that you don't even take one little drink anymore? No, my dear girl, I never touch it anymore. But I can well remember the time that I would wake up in the morning 
وده هارب يا جماعة كبا كبا خفيف اه ايه لك اسكر عبد تاي تخذ الدلع اتسوي For a minute, you're going to take off there, Crawfish. Well, if I hadn't had my flaps on, I might have made it. Yeah, well, we is going to relax and enjoy this here beautiful moonlight night. Oh, I've never seen such a gorgeous night in all of my life. Stars in the sky certainly do make a girl feel romantic this here kind of weather. Baby, say no more, sugar. You know I've been watching you for quite some time, baby doll. <laughs> These here pretty chicks, that don't know he how to lift a golf club, bring me down, baby, I swear that for sure. <laughs> Is that the truth, Daddy? Yeah, that's the truth, sugar, and I'm gonna tell you something else. What's that, you good-looking little rascal? You is sitting beside the greatest lover that ever lived. <laughs> Is that the truth, Daddy? That's what the man said. <laughs> and I'm gonna give you the most sensational Supersonic, full swing kiss that you've ever received in your born days. Mean to say just like they do in the movies, Daddy? That's what I said, baby. Well, come on, Daddy, I'm ready. Well, here I come, baby. Take over, boy. On the lips. <laughs> Take about. <laughs> 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 